Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers, New Ghost of Eden. I'm Saiken and we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. I'm glad to hear too. Time to investigate You're the what's governor going of Sun, on, right? I uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Your father believes there is a Harrow's witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. All right. Good day to you, That was not very helpful. Good day to you, sir. I suspect we're now going to make a round. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. So are we going to squeeze our way through here? No. Okay. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread, not our ale, our bread. Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow, you know it full well. If you want yeast, then grow your own. Just stick some in a jar and grow it and you'll have it forever. Now there is none and it's my fault. Food is a staple A drink is a luxury. Give me the yeast. How many different ways do you need to hear it? Of yeast, there is no more. There is yeast, no more. Yeast, no, no more. There's no more shitting yeast. <laughs> You're lying. You're pricking now, Mr. Cottle, and I am vexed. Go home, go back to your work, go to hell for all I care. Just go away. Good day, sir. Good day, uh... Mistress. Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGraith, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I'd never have guessed from looking at you. And what does an alewife look like, Mr. Banisher? Uh, pretty much like you. She's got you there. Can I ask, have you noticed anything strange lately? If you have, be sure to tell me. I'll be sure to tell you if I see anything normal. Strange is the flavour of the hour, the week, the month and the year. Yet folks still gossip. They're suspicious, aggressive, impatient. Perhaps they hanker for normality. I suppose it figures. Well, if you hear anything that strikes you as unusual, do let me know. Just Did to you double be check, what? Um, what does she have? Well, I could use her in order to upgrade a couple of my weapons, I suppose. After this is done, unless she's guilty and have hates good... us. Let's see if we can get into that other house. That at least was... 
some sort of a trail. Well, so much for it being a trail. It was loot, yes, but it did not get us any further. Red McCraith, sir. The Banisher, at your service. May I ask your name? Bachelor. Hugh Bachelor. I was the school teacher here in New Eden, in the times before. I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New Eden. He seems pleasant. Seen anything strange of late? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fabric of our fair community? We've sealed the well, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have to ask. I have seen the alewife, Mistress Barrow, lurking by the well, hands in her pockets, clutching at her herbals. And as I think of it, before his house burned down with his wife and brother in it, Caleb Watson and the alewife had a sharp exchange of words. Twere as if she'd cursed him. If there is a Harrow's witch, I'd start looking there. If I wanted a word with her, where would I find her? She tends to the alehouse, brewing God knows what witchery and mischief in her cauldron. I must take... God keep. Mistress Baru. Can... All right. Okay, well... Up. And up. No new dialogue option. Good day to you, sir. Likewise. Red McCraith. You? A Perry Cottle, I'm the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. You'll find no ghosts here, sir. Nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. I envy your faith, Mr. Cottle. How's that working out so far? Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanour, odd comings and goings. Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. Won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. I should go. God That's go? the thinnest of our leads so far, and it's Lucy. not even a good one. Surprising. I'm curious to hear her take on all this. Oh. All right, let's find this Lucy. Smells even. It's justice. Start anew. Shite on these people. They can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh, there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now. Out with you. Leave. Leave. I can tell from your sunny demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. Take for yourself. And when you're done, 
If you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Yep. I'll be leaving. A man. Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. I won't consider sending you this letter, as you can only imagine I will make you suffer. Alexander is unfaithful, he sees uh, Harold behind your back. There the truth is out, I've been familiar with Alexander's depravity. He might be charming and quit-witted, but his soul is defected and God has rejected him. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely been. ends well. Perhaps it's not been been since the beginning. Don't go there. You know it's true. Hugh Bachelor said Lucy Barrow cursed the house and it burned down. A house burned down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. It feels terrible, doesn't it? What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Here you are, the death of subsequent funerals have been taken place. Alexander Watson, Ruth Watson, wife and brother of shoemaker Caleb Watson, both dead uh, tragically in the fire of the Watson house and buried with dignity before Caleb and his friend. Um, Alexander is redeemed as a troubled man who caused the vexation given great sin, yet who redeemed himself in the end by rushing headlessly into the flames, a futile effort to uh, save his si sister-in-law. Ruth and Alexander Watson, the cobbler's wife and brother. This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. You've done enough sniffing, hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's burned debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past's the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you, too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried. I buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. 
Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. All right, let's figure that out, shall we? This it's wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. I bet you it's not the only haunted case. There might be another one. Maybe the girl, female that they were talking about, is also haunted. Would definitely not surprise me if that would be the case. What is lucky? Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I think in possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. Good, let's see if we can find another haunting afterwards. There's a point of interest. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Good, if it's too heavy, then we either need to jump. Which I don't think will happen. Or we shoot it down, which might also not happen. Or we're needing to climb around. Yep, climbing it is. All right, Sykens on the way. Have no fear. Reed McGrath is almost there. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth. And whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. I was about to say, I wonder how could we be on this graveyard? And there's not a single ghost. is going to shoot. They'll get back up. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Bust. Good. Very nice. Pulled the entire graveyard. robbers yes but what exactly were they stealing Ruth Watson there's another grave beneath it all 
All right, where is Ruth Watson? There we go, finally. Decoys to distract wayward specters. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Until someone took him. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys make sure the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. The other coffins are smashed to bits. Yet Alexander's and Ruth's remain untouched. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite a mess. Good. Find the decoys. And find the decoys we shall. This way, more of them. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Find a path between, uh, between the decoys. Can do that. Sure. Demonology. I should have known. Right, so someone really is a witch. What in God's green hell is this? Fight now. Talk later. Oh my boy, this guy hits hard. Does it have weak spots? Center Mars oh, that thing have? seems to be more or less weak spot. Move, Red. Back there. Watch it. That harvester switched form. Physical to spectral. They do that. Can't outrun a ghost. Okay, like I said, he hits hard. Up. Many bots that thing have. 
Okay, so once he is in this form, he's susceptible to rifle attacks. Run, Red! going all out You'll get it next time Enough with the damn crews <clears throat> Okay tough cookie you're on your own here, Red. Look to me. A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these... Got a brooch. Uh, so this one here, punch attack damage is increased. And this one here, outburst. Area of effect size is increased massively. What does wisdom do? Uh, I think I am still sticking with this here, although that's well, not bad either. But I'm still sticking with that. Plans. What a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. I sense a fragment of the past. Oh, that fella. You nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Parchment. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? Yeah. With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. I feel something close. There we go. That's what we miss. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Let's reveal an echo. All makes sense. The guy is trying to get his uh, love back. Through time and distance, I now see. As flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered. And I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which.
Well, what an interesting turn of events. I can tell you we are already going to sacrifice him. Just double checking, did we not miss anything up here? Might want to make our way all the way to that abandoned farm. Because then we can fast travel back and the way wouldn't have been for nothing. indeed is huge let's lower the bridge you're done get out of there Think you could take on a ghost? the bridge as good as new and as per the usual a secret it's just me you I felt it too somewhere here This is cost, no doubt. Don't have the three. No, we get one out of three. If we happen to find the other two, it's a free item. That's two out of three. Finding number three here. Yeah, very unfortunate. Should we happen to find it? And then we would have three out of three. And just as I was talking about it, of course, we're running into it. Fantastic, good, cool. New item. At the beginning, I thought uh, that you would only get um, a few items from uh, vendors, but I was dead wrong. And some of them are actually quite uh, interesting. Because here's the deal, uh, the they are all side grades in a sense, 
and it really depends on what kind of play style you're preferring. Unclean spirit, leave now. Some, in my perspective, are not as good as others, but whatever. I mean, each to their own, right? So, protective charm. Increased uh, damage against full health enemies. That's not bad. Stats are a little bit worse. But I think the equilibrium one is by far better because the enemy is um, is effectively damaged throughout 95% of their time. I do not think that you can realistically alpha strike enemies unless there is another ability that I'm just completely unaware of. But before we're moving back, like I said, we got most of uh, the interesting stuff. Time for us to get quote unquote safe point here. And before we do that, there is still another secret. Some of that. Standing by. Off. Endless spectral activities. You found endless clusters of spectral activities. This type of cluster can be repeated, increasing after each completion. Okay, so that is very similar to... This spectral nest needs to be cleansed. <laughs> Okay, so this is very similar to um, the Spectral Rifts. So for whatever reason, you can just continue leveling up and up and up. Let's see how difficult these things are. Let's get back up. The answer is uh, pretty tough, actually. You're done. Okay, my weapon. Glows, which I like. Not really 
dealing a lot of damage. Heads up! But on the other hand, is good. Careful! Stay down. Reinforcements. Okay, that worked uh, very well. Okay, this is definitely a bit tougher than the ones that we have seen before. The devil take you! Did we do it? No. Oh. You shouldn't stay in there. Ah, they brought more friends. That corpse is taken in. Why do I get the feeling that we're sitting ducks? Wasting your time on this one. That tormentor is bad, really bad. Trying to build up spectral energy. Get rid of the other spectre first. Look up! <laughs> <laughs> 
This one's protected. Wonderful. They are protecting each other. Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. Change targets. Torment it first. It's coming for you. This bite's not easily chewed. Change tack. Wow. Finally that thing is gone. Almost there. That's your face. Okay, if that was level one, then holy moly, are we not going to take level two? Cool. Yeah, thank you. Plus one to all stats, and we're absolutely done here. Is it just me or I felt it too. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's confront our good friend Caleb. If you need a rest, this place is as good as any. We don't need a rest, but if we could upgrade our equipment, that would be fine. Nice. Finally, we got weapon upgrades. I was waiting for that. And not only once, but look at that. We upgrade, uh, upgraded to pristine level. Now we got wax and scorch uh, macration that we need. Granted, we can't upgrade our wisp end now, but this is good. More melee damage, more vitality. I sincerely hope that we can dish out some very, very nice damage with that. 17 damage compared to way less than that and since melee damage is still our sort of bread and butter that was ultra helpful good time for a confrontation now all is 
this well. Nothing but shite off. I know I knew you're not Caleb. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tail short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, of course it did. <laughs> There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. You know you've failed, right? Look at yourself. Smell yourself. You can't live a life in that state. That's my never mind, not yours. If you don't like the smell, you can shite off. I'll not make our lives your business. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. You're well placed to see what goes on around here. Help me out. Have you seen it? I've made a... We don't need his side of any story. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that, isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Good. So where is Ruth house? That's a good question. Find the burned down house. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult, should it? Banisher garments. Okay, what is up with them? Hitting an enemy against you to banish points. And better vitality. Definitely lower strength, uh, so. This would go um, to be more banishing power and more banishing damage, but lower strike power. The house that burned down, the roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. 
and we have a crash all right back in business let's try this again wards i'm going to need a hand here sorry not this time supposed to do anything if I can't even take away the wards not allowed to shoot them either Can we get behind that fence? Good question, Saiken. You're on your own. Now this doesn't look like I can just get around the backside. way into the house so there must be a way just need to find the right angle there's nothing hanging so we can't really shoot anything Typically you can just slash something open. Maybe from below? Red, I can't manifest anymore. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? If you tell me where it is, then... We have a deal. That one we can't kill. But apparently there is one down here as well. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we're on onto something. need to find that last word so beware wards 
must be somewhere here. No more words. Thank you. All right. So now we can manifest it with that. We can finally get through here. Maybe not to make you angry. And that'll give us uh, the access to the house that we were looking for. Let me guess, we need to go through here first. Keep it going, keep it pushing so I can. Time must be nearby. Withered human heart. Of course. Ruth's heart. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Ew! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stow your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die! I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Look, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Give it back! Okay, let's get this... <clears throat> let's get this story over with, shall he we? He foolish is who come. No more to... Help me, please. 
Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He'd read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. You Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual? After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother. But I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. And yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But... but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. we found out who the sorcerer was. The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. Good, we're but calling it quits something. here because uh, Don't take that it to will... Heart. Their choices are not your business. That will Our give us a great little uh, spot to take up the next too. time. Thanks. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lammy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. 
fabulous we're going to see that the next time thanks a lot for watching guys really appreciate it if uh, you want to raise a like button from the death just try to click it a couple of times that's the ritual i was told works and see you the next time bye bye